Hello everybody, I'm now in the third ski resort for this winter around Beijing and I thought I'm showing you a little bit where I was, the location, where it is, how it is and if it is something for you. Dark. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. And in the ski resort where I am right now, there's one special feature which you only get in China, I promise you. But I will tell you later which it is. Okay, I'm going to start with the place 3. The place 3 is in Beijing where you get very easily by subway and then by DD and it is the Changping Ski Resort. It's in Changping in Beijing. When we're doing our thing with the wheels won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 now trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. The district is called Changping and it's in the north of Beijing. Actually, all three are in the north of Beijing or even further in the north in Hebei. So this one is place three because it's quite small. They only have one larger slope and this one is very icy. So for me, I'm not a very professional and this icy slope is quite difficult for me to ride. Anyway, the snow was very soft and I could do some tricks downstairs at the beginner area. Chanping is very easy to reach from Beijing. You will just take the subway, the line 13 or the line 8 and then you will change into the Chanping line. And then you are there in maybe one and a half hours. For the last few kilometers you should take a Didi, but this is very convenient and very cheap. The Chanping resort is more suitable for a day trip. Or in my case I went there with a friend together, we went snowboarding or skiing for one day and for the second day we planned a relaxing hot spring day. Place number two is the resort where I am right now. It is in Huai Bay. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. And the very special feature here is that I can directly look on the Great Wall. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real cause when we're doing And this is something very special for me. I'm right now here sitting in beautiful sunshine, watching the Great Wall and telling you where I have been snowboarding in this winter. Moreover, this area is very good for beginners and intermediate snowboarder or skier. So they have some beginner area and also intermediate slopes and it's uh, quite quite nice for a level like mine i can train very good here it's not too icy but if you fall down it's quite hard because it's pretty cold here downside for this one is that you only get here by car so you cannot take subway or a high speed train or something similar you need to have a car to get here from beijing and I have the feeling that here the lift, the cable car is quite slow. But to see the Great Wall from here, that's just awesome. Place number one goes to... So it's Saturday morning and I was a little bit surprised because when I woke up it was minus 21 degrees. But within half an hour it now changed to minus 40. Still pretty cold, but it's doable and I'm, I think in an hour or so it will get warmer as well. So let's change. Taihu in Chongli. It's in Hebei, not anymore in Beijing. Uh, we needed around three hours, I think, from my place in Beijing to Taihu. Anyway, it was definitely worth it. 
and you can also go there by high speed train. In Taihu you will get the feeling of being somewhere in Switzerland or in Austria or similar because the buildings there are mainly copied from those in ski resorts in Europe. And additionally in Taihu they have some slopes which are longer than here. So you are higher, you have more options and you will be riding your snowboard for a longer time to get downstairs. Taihu is a ski resort furthest away but I was there for two and a half days so it was definitely worth the trip. never did skiing or snowboarding then an area like Changping would be enough for you for a day to have fun. But if you are a little bit advanced and you are not so much into doing some tricks and playing a little bit around then you should definitely go here or even to Taihu. And then I would suggest to stay for a night or two then you will have a lot of fun. That's it for my comparison of the ski resorts around Beijing. Hit the subscribe button if you didn't do so and also the thumb up if you like this video. See you the next time. I know we're acting stupid